Oh no, Shelly, don't run me over. I decided to join this public modded server to destroy it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I was just curious to see if I could, you know, gain the trust of the people and inch my way towards becoming the ruling dictator of the server and make everyone pay an absurd amount of taxes all while living in a primitive age where dinosaurs exist. That's normal. So yeah, this is uh, the story of how I, Josh MV, the best Minecraft player in the world, became you. leader of this Minecraft SMP in only 100 Minecraft days. It all started about uh, 7,000 years ago, back when these, wait, sorry, I read that wrong. Dinosaurs existed. A time where there was peace in the land, before us three IQ cavemen were released into the wild. Ooga, ooga, ooga. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 it's gonna kill me. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Caveman strong. Caveman big. Yes, Uga the Booga. All right, Sodi, Uga with me. So, yeah, my old pal Sodi, he's uh, gonna be helping me throughout this video to try to control these mad cavemen by uh, forming some sort of dictatorship. I mean, uh, peacefully run government for the people. Obviously, this means that we will not only have to gain the trust of the people, but prove ourselves worthy of such leadership. Sonny, what are you doing in this hole, bro? I'm enjoying my hole. You got a problem with it's holes? Kinda Kind of suspicious, if you ask me. Come here, Sony. No. You know, we're also gonna have to be well equipped in case anyone tries to backstab us in the future. And so we headed into the mines and began extracting resources to forge into useful tools and armor. All right, time to get this gold. Yeah. Oh my god. Was that the kid keeps court? hitting me, so uh, I figured it's deserved. But then I kind of realized he's asking for food. Hey, Josh, do you wanna see something cool? Sure. Ooh, wait, what? Oh, I thought I thought that thing moved. Just oh, skeleton. it's fossils. Oh, Ooh, is this tin armor? Yeah. I need one more iron. Does it even have one iron? Yeah. Iron. What are you gonna give me for it? Uh, tickle. All right, I'm ready. Nope. These caves were quite adventurous and were filled with tons of resources. And I managed to find diamonds pretty quickly and made a pickaxe to harvest some obsidian. However, at this point, we were pushing the boundaries no, of survival. No. We were running out of food. Sodi was on two hearts and starving, meaning it was time to get out of these treacherous caves. Uh, yeah, All right, we're outside, but it's night. Don't come out here, Sodi. Why not? Because you're going to die. No, Sodi, the skeleton, the skeleton. Oh, no. I said, don't come out here. I just want to see the stars. <laughs> the stars can wait. Okay, I'm going to bring you food. All right, I need a lot. <laughs> you might want to get in that hole, too. Come join me. We can be hole buddies. <laughs> I don't know. Hole. After the last time, I collected various vegetables from this local source, and after feeling my own hunger, I helped Sodi heal up as well. Like a bird. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Can you please chew it up before you throw it in next time? <laughs> now that we were in good health, we began building a starter base. I decided to leak our coordinates to the rest of the caveman, and I then went to collect some wood to finish the base, but then I got attacked by some dinosaurs. Holy! Holy yo! Dinos give a lot of XP. I continued to work on the starter base, and soon enough, the beginnings of Uga Shaka Kingdom 2.0 were taking uh, shape. We gotta try starter eggs for a gift, uh, for uh, a treaty or a, pe or a peace, a peace treaty. Yo, what's up, Mika? Oh, okay. How, if I just yeah. place it, will it hatch? Uh, yeah. Sure, yes. Oh, Quite shoot. Cute. How long did it take for these bad boys to have? So a couple players who decided to live outside of Uga Shaka Kingdom requested a peace treaty with me. All right, yeah, you guys can uh, have a peace treaty. You can join our town and uh, just make sure you don't do anything, you know, suspicious. Josh, Josh you want to whip? I got a gift. Oh. Sure. Right. Also want a nene. Hey. The treaty was in place, and I was thinking just how cool it was seeing everyone riding dinosaurs. And so I met up with Sodi and Ace to try and go tame some of our own. We're gonna go uh, tame some dinos. You wanna take a break working on the bridge? Sure. Cool. Sodi, I missed you so much. Missed you too, Ace. You guys are finally reuniting. So I can I can I can spank y'all right now. Is that is that what's going on? No, buddy, spank the dinosaurs. But I mean, good. Huh? All right, let's go tame some dinosaurs. Oh, whip it, whip it. It's not working. It's not working. Ah. Kill it, kill it. I don't think we can whip these. Oh. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! 
Bro, that thing almost so killed me. Holy shit. cow. Did it really? All right, let's go, boys. Keep going this way. Wait, I can't. Can I tame you? Ah, I tamed it. A fuss for us, Oh, oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Control Why is it attacking your you? No, come here. Your come here, stop it. Oh. Stop it. Oh, no, let's kill it. Kill it. This thing's feisty. It's gonna kill me. Oh, my God. Oh, bad. Ah! Oh, that one's already tamed, by the way. By who? Me. Dang, Josh, you guys just... having some trouble. Oh, I got it! Animal. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> I got it! Ace, how did you do What the... <laughs> Wait, look at him jump, Sony. Stop whipping that for a second. Look at him jump. <laughs> Bro, what? Ooh, maybe I can team this. Yes, I got one. Sony, come nice. get one of these. How? I got a dinosaur, and you don't. Where'd you drop it? Hey, that's not very like caveman gentleman-like of you. Okay, I don't care. After taming our dinos, Sody and I began exploring. We stumbled upon a random player and decided to begin our tyrannical be- I mean, uh, imposing an unfair- t I mean, uh, forcefully collecting support for the benefit of society. Yeah, that- that's- 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 Better. I'm on your team. Five iron and we'll leave you alone. It's tax collect season right now. I have a house in the village. Exactly. We need a tax for the village. I think we pay for all this stuff. Okay, okay. Those roads don't build themselves. Perfect. Thank you, sir. All right. Be on your way. Good luck. Don't die. All right. Someone's got to say it. It's it's kind of funny how you just gain a small amount of power and boom, just like that, people are willing to give you a right. portion of their income. Anyway, Sodi and I stumbled upon a mega vein of iron ore. It was the most iron I've ever seen. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. What's down there? A huge iron vein. Like, I just got like four stacks of iron in this more. Dang. After trying to knock a player into the ravine oh. and collecting Stop. another tax from a player Iron. casually, I stumbled Let's upon this, this wooden base. And well, being the arsonist I am <laughs> in this game, of course, only. Let's be honest. At this point, you guys, you know what happens next. Just a little bit of arson never hurt anyone. You know what I'm saying? Like, just a, just a little bit. Uh, time to watch him burn. Look what I did, guys. Oh, God, not again. <laughs> 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 five minutes, Josh. Just oh, five minutes. he burnt to death. What a shame. Let's go get his stuff if it's not burnt already. Oh, he must have ran and burnt to death. As fun as that was, Karma was waiting for me around the corner. Sleep deprived Mystic asked me for my flint and steel, and I was ignorant enough to just give it to him, only to witness this moments later. Mystic, what are you doing? Mystic, you can't. Whoa, 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 Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did he run? Did he run? Which direction? Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. I'll get him. I'll get him. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Who does that? Who who lights people's bases on so early? Well, to be fair, it's Mystic. He's always sleep deprived. That's true. Our kingdom was just in its early form, and we were already being targeted. Raven, they burned down my house. Everyone's gonna die. Oh. My, Who's, my poor house. Who, who did this to my house? They burning it down? Yep, someone burned it down when I was logging on. That is so sad. I think you could put it out, though. Go put it out. No, I spent so long on gathering the wood. I wish there was a way I could know who did this. I think it was Mystic. Why would Mystic do this? I haven't done anything. Mystic was now officially wanted by the Uga Shaka Kingdom. A group of us decided we were going to try to trap him hey, using ghost blocks. But somehow while we were setting up the trap, someone told Mystic that we were up to something. And so Mystic... Mystic removed all of his good items from his inventory and then approached us before we were guys, even ready. Right here, shift and don't don't unshift until goal. Mystic Sorry. comes. Also, don't talk. Don't talk. Fall, fall right here, right here in these blocks. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! Got gotcha. him! This is why I did not take my stuff. Huh? Who, oh, who told you to come here? I got him! Wait, did you kill Mystic? That I the guy that him. was attacking me. Thank you, Josh. Of course, I didn't get any of his items because he had removed them. But, uh, it was nice to feel some sense of revenge. Yeah. Alright, it's alright. We got revenge, Hyper. We didn't get his items, but we got revenge. Because you get so much XP from killing dinosaurs and we already have enemies, I figured we should get an enchantment table set up as quickly as possible. And so myself and player Fate is in real here. secretly set up an underwater enchantment room. But we still had to work on getting the books. At this point, our city was making some good progress, I'd say. And fairly quickly. After upgrading the gold furnaces, I heard players chasing Galaxy Swiss. And so I decided to go help chase them down. I got him! What did he do? He killed someone. Oh. Hopefully uh, he's not a problem in the future. Speaking of problems, player shark approaches me saying this. Josh, I just got word that you burned down my base. Uh, whoever said that 
who said well, that? Well, Mystic swore on his mother's life that you did. That is false information. Oh, so... I guess his mother's dying. Because <laughs> right. I only burnt down Owen's base, but let's keep that between us. Yeah, he's my teammate. And that was my base. That was awkward, and unfortunately for me, Shark would end up swearing revenge, and it was only a matter of time. It seemed as if chaos was creeping into our city more and more each day, and so I called for a meeting in the church. Alright guys, welcome to church. Today, we are going to be repenting of our sins, alright? Wait, we should take off our hats for this. Yep, take off your hats, take off your hats. Alright, listen guys, I need 10% of your income. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, before we go, let's all sing Three. one hallelujah. Three, two, one. Hallelujah. Ooh. All right, church, church is uh, resigned. After a very holy church service, I decided it was time to build a dino pen. The plan was to charge players rent in order to store their dinos in a safe place. I tried to use drawbridges for gates, but for some reason they would only extend one block tall. And unfortunately, while I was building, someone set off a mine at my old base and destroyed it. Who was that? This would only be the beginning of our dreaded mine problem. Mines were going off left and right. Players' houses were being set on fire. We were being attacked. We're gonna find out who did this and we're gonna get revenge. That's all I'm saying. I want revenge. But we had no idea who it was. However, we did have suspicions that Master Bonnie and Mystic were involved. But we had no proof yet. All right, my dino shelter is officially finished. Oh, is that an elephant? Barely bionic creeper tamed an elephant. You might not know this, but uh, I do speak a little elefante. You know what I'm saying? A little elephant. Hold on, I speak elephant. Bring it down here. Ready? <laughs> I tried Oh! To, I tried to bro! What'd you tell them? I said, dang, that's a fat looking trunk. I'm gonna go get a dino. You wanna come with me? Yeah, let's do it. I decided to go search for my own dino to place in my new dino pen. After my, uh, old one disappeared. I found a dino. Is it a friendly one? I tamed it, but it, uh... I won't let you ride them? I think I should just kill it for XP. Oh, okay, that works too. Dinosaurs, I'm looking for you. Ooh. These are cool dinos. While I was traveling, I ended up stumbling upon this mysterious snow village. Oh, it's a village. What's up, guys? Yes, more books. What's... Whoa, what? This is sick. What? It's an archaeology workbench. Take that. I, of course, borrowed just a few items from the village and continued the search for a dino of some sort. And eventually, I found these big guys. Whoa, what's this? Is this a mammoth? Hold up. Can I tame this? I tamed a mammoth! Yo, look at this! Oh, that's so cool. Can I ride it? Oh, I got a mammoth! Oh, this thing's fast. It's gonna be hard to travel with. Oh my gosh. We got a mammoth! How sick is that? And while I was on my way back, I ended up stumbling upon Sodi taming some dogs. A lot of dogs. Sodi? Hey, what's up? You taming dogs? You bet. Look what I got. Oh, what the heck? A mammoth! Yeah, I got a mammoth, bro. Nice, dude. Yep. What the heck? Yeah, dude. Yeah, Big, I brown. I love it. Oh. Jeez, you got three dogs? Yeah. Got a pack. But he's a dog lady. I made Sodi and I some backpacks and continued my journey back to our kingdom. Right in my big fat mammoth. What's up, guys? Oh, hey, guys. Check me oh, out. I got a by the way, guys, if you have a dino, my dino pin's now open for operation. Rent it five diamonds a month. Place your dino in there. Keep five it nice and diamonds. safe. Hey, it's a pristine That's dino more than palace. My rent. I mean, I'm just gonna make That's my own expensive. That's a scam. After placing Billy in his new home, uh, Time Slip mentioned that player Snipes was the one committing the arson. While he had no proof, this was the closest lead I had to figuring out who was destroying our kingdom. And so I began forming forming a plan. But in the meantime, I decided it was time to collect a diamond tax. Ah, nice place. I'm glad to know you live here. So, uh, here's the thing. Max, uh, I need five diamonds for tax. I only have three. He only has three. Hey, well, that's three diamonds I didn't have, so, uh... <laughs> Thank you, good sir. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Ah, I love being a tax collector. Not sure why everyone hates us. You know, it's like, we make good money. Anybody here have diamonds for tax? I got your seven. Oh, thank you. <laughs> After collecting a ton of taxes, I found myself in a cave with sodium farming. And then something very sad happened. Whose dog is this? <laughs> I'm not 
paying taxes. Wait, was that your dog? No, that wasn't my dog. Hey, Sody. Wait, Sody, was that your dog? Sody, is this your dog? What dog? Oh, oh no. <laughs> You're right, what dog? <laughs> there wasn't any dogs. You're a terrible oh, person for doing that, farming. Whoa, 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 buddy. After Sody tried to kill me for absolutely no reason, I crafted some diamond armor and began enchanting my items in our secret lair. All right, let's go. We don't, we don't talk of this place. Yeah, it's secret. And since everyone kept blowing up and destroying our bases, I decided to get the one person I could trust, Eskamong Unwati, to help build a secret underground base that was just far enough underground no one could see our username. I headed back up to get some of my old items, and uh, Flair, your lucky, kindly offered me a special Ooh, Tinker's Construct weapon. Let's go. Thank you, my guy. So how good is this thing? It, it does seven attack damage and poison people. Free weapon? Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Then my uh, mammoth apparently went stir crazy from being in such a confined space and started destroying everything. Oh! Oh my gosh! Who hit it? Who hit it? No, it's breaking everything. What the heck? We're gonna have to put it down. My mammoth was clearly going crazy, and so I did the only humane thing I. I could. Oh, my reimbursement is I'm gonna have to put this mammoth down. Yo. <laughs> After sending Billy, my beloved mammoth, to heaven, Dino Heaven, I continued to work on my underground base. And hey, I'm just saying, the city was looking pretty cool. Look at that. I also stumbled upon some brachiosauruses. Yo, these there things are the sick. Is in the distance. Oh, 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 they're gonna fight. Oh, oh, oh. hold up. Hold up. Let him cook, let him cook. Yeah! Come here, boy. Ooga booga. Oh, yeah! I'm on it. I got a Brachiosaurus. <laughs> oh my gosh. After setting up a place for my Bricky the Bracky, I began questioning some people Snipe? about player Snipes to see just what they thought about him. Yes. What do you guys think about him? <laughs> Has anybody seen him do evil deeds? Oh, you mean the guy who was asking me if you wanted <laughs> to pay for an assassination? Yeah, yeah. He was doing that. Like five diamonds. Never mind. He did it. Should we kill him? Yes. I, yeah. I just got this new sword. Uh, it was clear player snipes was definitely not an innocent player and uh, so i decided we needed to do something about it i headed just outside the city walls where i began setting up a trap to catch player snipes he can't break out of them now <laughs> luckily for me just as i finished building the trap snipes just happened to pull up right next to me someone just put like a mine on the bridge yeah there was a there was there, a mine on it can you uh get him ace get him Chill. get him oh, yes nice. yes Let's go. <laughs> he did not expect that. Yeah, well, you know how hard I grinded for all my stuff? We uh we know you placed mines and lit I, people's bases on I fire. I put it on I put it on God. I didn't place mines, but the fire, yeah, that was me. Yeah, Snipes was not happy about losing his items and swore his revenge. I would feel bad for him if he hadn't, you know, burnt down people's houses for no reason. Let's not forget about that. Uh, but it was clear he needed to be shut back before he caused any more trouble. Speaking of trouble, we ran into this. Oh yeah, that's just <laughs> oh, what's this? He had 50 cups of tea? After stealing an absurd amount of tea from Flare Inferno, I began to, just for a moment, take in the beauty of all the dinosaurs we'd captured. When I was a kid, I watched a show where humans lived amongst the dinosaurs in a city. It was always a dream of mine to one day experience that same thing. And this was... This was cool. Anyways, player cyber oh, underscore guardian asked if he could speak with uh, me. Yes. Hello. British uh, man. Can I, have a, can I have a word with you for a second, please, if that's all right? Sure, sure. Okay, come with me to my shop. Come on in. So, I, I kind of wanted to have a word with you. So, there's... Sorry, sorry, if I, I'm a little bit nervous because I, I can't believe I'm actually me and you. So, anyways. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> okay. So, there's... An, I think there's another another enemy to this, like, little kingdom of ours called Master Bonnie. Oh. What makes you say that? Well, they at they attacked me. They killed me a few times. They kind of also robbed my shop a few times. So like, it turns out like Master Bonnie was caught causing some trouble. I mean, I've had suspicions for quite some time now that Master Bonnie couldn't be trusted. And so being the trap master I am, I began setting up another trap in the basement of Master Bonnie's house. And then we'll go like this. Oh. Did someone die? Uh, you guys died. Killed him. <laughs> 
That would explain those items on the ground. <laughs> After we'll accidentally like killing Cyburn, we finished up the trap and waited for Master Bonnie. Master Bonnie, meet me in your private room. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> Let's let the British guy do the talking. Master Bonnie, Master Bonnie, is it true that you attacked my shop a few times? Master Bonnie wasn't answering any of our questions, and so we left him in the obsidian trap to forever stare at a dark, jagged lava stone wall until the end of time. At this point, it was clear the city needed some sort of official government that everyone would agree to respect and obey as the city developed. And so we began constructing an election hall where we would host the very first official election of Ugashaka Kingdom. All right, guys, let's get this meeting adjourned. This city is becoming quite chaotic, to say the least. And uh, that being said, I say we elect a leader. Now, we're going to have an election here, all right? So everyone stay formal. All right, I know we're cavemen, but hey, we're evolving. Let's go ahead and hear a speech. Who wants to go first? May I? Sure. Let's let the British man speak. Good evening, boys. Nope. <laughs> Alright, I don't think you got a chance, buddy, but anyways, Shark's next. You should vote me for president because I'll give you all five diamonds. Yeah, oh my gosh, already causing chaos. Quiet down, quiet down. Let's hear what Blue has to say. Okay, so I want to give a special thanks to ChatGPT for writing me this. Nope. Let's hear Blazin. Okay, I don't have much of a speech. I guess I'm thinking about it on the spot, but well, I want to have a good community without any tolling of meanness, bullying, or destroying other people's property. Let's hear what Snipe has to say. <laughs> oh, no. You have 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Boo. 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 I would like it if everyone would stop killing Boo. me. I'm just trying to get my stuff back. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. You that's enough. Check your base after this. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa. Right, after everyone finished giving their speeches, we set up a voting system and everyone placed their votes. I counted up all the votes and prepared to announce who was now the official leader of Ugashaka Kingdom. All right, everyone listen up. In third place, we have your mother. <laughs> Sodi and I are tied at five votes each, but I'm pretty what? sure two of those votes were from Sodi cheating. Wait, <laughs> what are you talking about? I feel about? like Josh cheated. I only have five votes. I didn't cheat. The person in first place had seven votes, all spelt the exact same, which leads me to believe they cheated. Do you guys agree? Smells like a cheater to me. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Chorito <laughs> block. Wait, what? Oh, it was Chorito block. Nah, that's cheating. Uh, how does that's someone cheating. spell did all you that cheat, the same? Did you cheat, I am an honest individual. I will say I did. Yeah, Chorito Block cheated, and he paid for it with his own life. Since Sodi and I were tied, we decided we should set up a jousting event to the death. And the winner will become the official leader of Ugashaka Kingdom. Alright, alright, ladies and gentlemen, take your seats. The Unga Bunga game will shortly commence. On our side, we have Sodi Poppin and... Mint Chalky, and on the other side, we've got Josh and Quentin. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Unga Bunga game. Yeah! Yeah! All right, all right. Are jousters ready? Three, two, come on, Quentin. Unga Bunga! Get the match, guys. All right. Stop, stop. I have something to say. <laughs> what oh, is this, Sodi? I got Sodi, something to you say. The floor. What? what? Listen, oh. I'm tired of this. I don't like this fighting. I just want this. Just want this to stop. Can we? Can we put this behind us, Josh? You know what, Sodi? That's fine with me, buddy. Uh <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Stop. <laughs> Me and Sodi have something to tell you guys. We're gonna lead this city together. It was official. Sodi and I were the shared leaders of Ugashaka Kingdom. We we set up a feast in the meeting hall to celebrate. Alright guys, it's official. Sodi and I are your new leaders of Ugashaka Kingdom 2.0. Sodi, do you have anything to say? I'm uh, glad you guys all can make it for this wonderful feast to get together and, and become one. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great feast. We're gonna have a good time. Before we get started, before we eat, I'm gonna ask Ace Gaming to come up here and uh, say a prayer for the food. Prayers we are gonna do today to enjoy this fine is a feast to celebrate Josh 
and Sodi become our new leaders. Thank the Lord for our food and for future prosperation for the rest of us. Now dig in. Dig in, brethren. Let's eat. Yeah. 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 Mm, what a good feast. Before planning our first moves as leaders, we had a bit of fun exploring some special items in the mod pack. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. The moment you've all been waiting for. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, ah, ah, ah. What is this? Hold on. My smooth ride. Oh no, Sody, don't run me over. I got a bike. Just picture this. I pull up to my crush and I'm like, Hey, yo, what's good? My name's Josh. 12 pulling up. Hey, yeah. no, no, don't give me a ticket. Listen, yeah. my, my mom has my helmet. Okay, enough messing around. Sodi and I began building a police station to enforce the new laws of Ugashaka Kingdom. The city was advancing, and we were both now the leaders and sheriffs of Ugashaka Kingdom. And so we called for a meeting to announce some of the new laws of the land. All right, have everyone have a seat. Have a seat. So, Sodi and I are the official mayors slash sheriffs of this here county. All right? Now, Here's the thing. We've got some rules in place for your best interest. First and foremost, no stealing. Anybody stealing will be subject to jail time. That includes police cars. Third, murder, going to jail. Griefing, going to jail. Standing around and staring at me, going to jail. So I'm sure you guys all saw the hoods that Josh and I built. Those don't pay for themselves. Nope. And the only way that will be paid for is with all of us, all of our help. So we are going to be collecting 10 diamonds a week. Let's go ahead and collect our first taxes, all right? They'll be due in one day. Come here, come here, Hyper. Come here, come here, come up. Hyper and Raven, head of security team, all right? So uh, they're going to be placing mandatory security cameras in each of your houses. All right, don't question it. Don't think about it. Don't have any thought of any kind. Just accept it and that it's for your protection. All right, guys, meeting adjourned. After laying out the new rules of the kingdom, we all headed over to the new airport where Chirito Block and Cybern were hosting a community air show event. Whoa, what is this play doing? <laughs> hey, it's part of the show. It's part of the show. Yo! <laughs> Back it up, Terry. Back it up, Terry. Ananga bunga. Start your engine. Something, go. I've never yeah. Like yeah. Oh, yeah. Take off. Wow, that was. <laughs> I want my diamond back. All right, Sony. This show is trash. Let's give him a show. I'll give you guys what you really want. No, no, don't do it. No. After the worst air show in the history of Minecraft, I headed back to the police station to collect more taxes. Do you have taxes available? Yeah. Oh, you have taxes? All right, come in. Come on in. All right. Thank you very much. Mr. Chips Chip, what the heck? Hi. Hey, buddy. Long time no see. Yeah, I don't live here, but I decided to pay my taxes as best I can. All right, Chips. It was great seeing you, buddy. Guys, it was insane. Just how many diamonds we got from everyone. Like what? This is an OP diamond farming method. All from one days of tax. Dude, this is amazing. I'm telling you, dictatorship's the way to go and they don't even know it. That's what I'm saying, dude. They just willingly give us their diamonds just because we're the government. I know, and they, they oh, think man. it actually helps them, but really, it goes right to our pockets. <laughs> They're like fish in a pond. They're a fish in a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> After collecting taxes, I decided it was time to cause some chaos. And so I met up with some players involved in setting up security cameras around the kingdom. And I told them that they needed to watch certain specific locations. As I had been tipped off, something was about to go down. I had the genius idea to switch skins and hide my name tag in order to frame some of the players on the server. Now we just had to cause some destruction using the skins and uh, not get caught. Both Bionic and Ace got footage of supposedly not something blue and Galaxy Gouda lighting bases on fire. We swapped back to our old skins and managed to trick both players into going inside the jail cell. Uh, <laughs> we know it was you, Galaxy. You both tried to burn Raven's house down with blue and blue set the church on fire. What? We knew it was you, too. Whoa, whoa. Where did you I get don't even live here. We have video now. evidence. Ace and Bionic Creeper both have sent us video evidence that it was you guys. We have you on the security cameras. Wait, no, no, no. I'm being so serious. I was in my base trying to get all the circuits. Uh, no, you weren't because we have video footage. We literally have, have video, video footage, footage, bro. I, I want a lawyer. We're being framed, Josh. Being framed what? You think someone just put your skin on and tried to frame I you? I do. 
I do. I do. I that's like a load of bullets. That's ah! outrageous. Who would be guilty, no, would no, say. I swear, Josh, I swear I didn't do it. In order to make everything official, we allowed Blue and Galaxy Mozzarella to go to court for a chance to prove their innocence. Of course, we had the video footage of them committing these horrendous acts, and so uh, it, it wasn't looking good for them. All right, guys, so we've called you here to court today because, well, someone committed arson. And uh, so we have not something blue. He is allegedly charged with committing arson against a church. Yeah, it's, it's sad. And we have Galaxy Cheese who allegedly committed arson against Raven's base. So uh, today we're going to figure out if this is the truth. And uh, whatever the court decides will go. So, uh... Remember to keep order in the court, and let's begin. Sodi, go ahead and call our first witness to the stand. Bionic, you can uh, step forward. You are being called up to the stand as the first witness. Hello, Bionic. So, uh, we hear you have proof of some sort. I, I, have, uh, I, have, I have a picture taken right at the moment he committed the arson. Who? Uh, blue. So, go ahead and send this proof in the general Discord. Jury, please go ahead and take a look at the Discord general chat for the proof. Oh, that definitely looks oh like blue. My God. That definitely looks like blue, eh? Okay, so that's that's not looking good for you. All right, Bionic, thank you for your evidence. You may have a seat. Okay, Ace Gaming, you may step up to the stand as our second witness. All right, Ace, what's your evidence? All right, so I have evidence that Galaxy Cheese here <sighs> okay. set poor Raven's house on fire. Oh yeah, that's him. Uh, that's very that is very convincing. Yo, oh no, oh wait, my wait, gosh. What is this? What Oh my no, gosh. Hey, 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 hey order you, the court. Like Ace, you may have a seat. Thank you so much for your evidence. Very yes, convincing stuff here. Now that everyone had seen the evidence against them, we had a great chance of being able to convict them for this crime. But we still had to give them a chance to call up any witnesses to defend themselves, you know, as due process, due trial. It's not like we're cavemen. Go ahead, what's your first witness? Well, our first witness we call Mystic. Mystic? Yeah. Do you have any evidence that proves or doesn't prove their innocence? I have no proof because, yeah, I have no proof. I'm Do you have anything to say? Why'd you come to the nothing. stand? You have nothing to say? Mm -mm. Wow, you guys chose a terrible witness. <laughs> it's not looking good for Blue. All right, thank you, Mystic. You may have a seat. All right, who would you guys like to call to the stand? We would like to call Hesley to the stand. Hesley, you may come to the stand. All right, Hesley, uh, so do you have any proof? that proves mm. Galaxy's innocence on the day uh, that he committed arson? Yes, I am a witness. I have a proof only for that he was with us in our base. Do you have any proof or is that just hearsay? It's a hearsay. Uh, unfortunately, that is not good enough for the court. All right, well, it looks like it's just a bunch of hearsay. She said, your mom said, this, they said, you know what I mean? Hey, all right, Hesley, you can head back to your chair. Shark Buddy, would you like to allow your defendant to come speak as a witness for himself? Uh, yes. All right, you Galaxy, you may head to the witness stand. All right, Galaxy, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> All right, Rotten according cheese? to Ace Gaming, I, I committed this arson two days ago, correct? Correct. I'd uh, like to say the evidence is not valid as there is no name tag. Yes, okay, that you can say, oh, blah, 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 name tag, blah, 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 right, right, right. If you look at the skin, and, it, and if you look at the back of the head, you can clearly see that there's two black lines, yes? Yeah. Where are my black lines? Only one. Uno, but only I one. I see two. Are you? I, I see two as well. I see two. I, I think it is you now. All right, Galaxy. That's that's enough. It's not looking good for you, buddy. It's not looking good for you. All right, Blue. All right, Blue. You can come up to the witness stand. All right, Blue. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm I'm Christian. Why would I ever burn down a church? Well, you tell us. You tell us, buddy. That's the point of a religion, or? To have a church, right? Why would yeah. I ever do that? You have any evidence that proves that you didn't? The screenshot was taking an F1, meaning the person who took it has something to hide. That is a bit mm. suspicious, but uh, I don't think that's good enough to prove your innocence there. Yeah, man. I mean, it is your skin. Have a seat. Have a seat, Blue. Have a seat. It's not looking good. All right, the jury, everybody, talk amongst yourselves for a second and decide whether or not you think they're guilty or innocent. Now that they had a chance to defend themselves, it was time for the jury to come to a conclusion of whether or not they were innocent or guilty. All right, all right, back to your seats, back to your seats, back to your seats. Order in the court. All right, guys, who is all the nays that they're not guilty? All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that they're not guilty. All right, and all of the yays, go ahead and step forward. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of yays. 
It's oh, looking like they're guilty. All right, stand back. Stand back, guys. Thank you for your votes. Thank you for your votes. It looks like they're guilty, everyone. We're going to charge them with five days of community service for rebuilding the town. Just when we decide that they're guilty, Jolty says this. What's that, Jolty? I have got a new piece of evidence that proves that they're both innocent. New piece okay. of evidence. All right, I guess we'll, uh, we'll hear what you have to say. Go ahead and go up to the witness stand. I don't believe this. This isn't good, Josh. I, I thought... I thought... I I know, I don't know. Well, let's hear what you have to say, Jolty. I have a proof of a certain person changing their skin that makes what? it very obvious that somebody forged the evidence of committed arson of those two certain people down there. It was you, Josh. What? Me? Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a strong accusation. Hold on, hold on. Let, let's let's see. What, what kind of proof do you got? I have evidence that you changed your skin to not something blue and that you forged the evidence using that skin. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. S send it. There's no way. Like, I definitely didn't. There's, there's no way. <gasps> what? No! No, 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 no. no. What? <laughs> Just like that. I had lost all trust as a leader. Everyone was on the hunt for me. I mean, they were already tired of all the taxes that I had made them pay all, all this time. And th this must have just sent them over the edge. I snuck into my hidden base and began planning what to do next. That's when Sodi meets me down there and says I this. I did not expect... Dude, that's actually crazy. That is. I thought we were going to get away. Well, at least you. Scotch free, man. They didn't oh, care hey. about you? No. What? They they're happy that I wasn't a part of it, and I took over as mayor. What? <laughs> Yo, what? Are you serious, bro? <laughs> yep. Oh, my gosh. And I told them that gosh. I'm sorry that you did this, and I told them that I was not a part of it, and that they were innocent, and I let them go, let them have their stuff, and they are looking for you as we speak. But you're not actually going to, like, you know, like, try to turn me in or anything, right? No, of course not, man. We're rich. <laughs> yeah, my boy, my boy. Let's get it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I thought we were... Oh, never mind. I, 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 read, I'm, I misread that. <laughs> I sent Sodi back to distract the other players. After everything that had happened, I, I felt this was the only thing left to do. Okay. Um, Josh is, I believe, alone at the moment and don't has, doesn't have anyone to go to. But I believe members here have somewhat earned his trust. And could have tried to uh, uh, Screw you guys! And that is how dinosaurs became extinct. Subscribe! It's Josh and Bean.